Last July 14th, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft flew past Pluto, capping a half century of exploration of our solar system. It piqued our interest about what lies beyond Pluto and what can we learn about ourselves and the origins of our solar system. The idea of a new planet is certainly an exciting one for me as a planetary scientist, and I think for all of us. The January 20th paper in the Astronomical Journal is fueling our interest in planetary exploration and stimulating a healthy debate that's part of the scientific process. I couldn't be more pleased about what's happening. You know, it's all about starting the process that could lead to an exciting result. A whole new planet on the other side of Pluto. It's named 2012 VP113, jokingly dubbed Biden. Get it? Uh, Corey Powell's editor at large for Discover Magazine and Studio. How you doing, Corey? Uh, VP Biden. Right on. There we go. <laughs> Correct on that. Two images show you. This is the arrow obviously pointing to it. But there are three dots on here. One is red, one is green, one is blue. Right. What's significant? So this is, this is the actual discovery image. Basically, t two astronomers were looking, one little patch of sky very, very far away, looking for exactly this kind of thing. Stars don't move. Planets or anything that's like a planet does. Mm -hmm. So this is color-coded. This is what they saw on different nights. They're looking for one thing moving. They color-coded it to, to show that all these stars are staying still. This thing is moving, and the way it's moving... So this is just one... It's one object, color-coded. Is three, Pluto on this? Pl Pluto's in a whole different part of the sky. So this is way out there. This is way out there. Well, this is more, is, than, more than twice as far away as Pluto. Unbelievable. Why does this matter, Corey? Well, there are two ways you can look at it. I think you know, I look at it, first of all, as, a, as an exploration question. That there, you know, We know where we are on Earth. We've mapped our planet. Our solar system is still terra incognita. It's full of surprises. This object is something that astronomers said shouldn't even be there. There's a mm. whole other solar system beyond the planets that we know that are full of these things that are sort of planets, sort of comets. Some of them they call dwarf planets. That's what they're calling this one. What we're seeing is we're seeing our neighborhood. We're seeing w what's around us. And then the second part, we're seeing where we came from. Mm -hmm. We're seeing where we came from. Mm -hmm. The oft-contested designation of Pluto as the ninth planet is back in the news again today. The California Institute of Technology published a study claiming they have discovered a true ninth planet beyond Pluto. For the first time in 170 years, evidence of this ninth planet was found on the far edge of the system. Astronomers at, this, at the California Institute of Technology have not directly seen it yet but they think it's up to 10 times bigger than Earth and 20 times farther away than Neptune. Two scientists at Caltech say they've discovered a ninth planet in the outer corners of our solar system. It's pretty exciting to know it's out there and waiting to be found. Two years ago, we realized that there was something funny going on in the outer solar system. Well, these orbits are, are showing us, they're showing us sort of a gravitational one-way sign towards the existence of an additional body. These researchers say for the last 13 years, a handful of objects have been found by other astronomers, and all of these objects swing in the same direction. That can't happen by chance. We knew something funny was going on. Many may remember Mike Brown for his role in demoting Pluto as a planet about a decade ago. What's the evidence that it's there? So the evidence is that we can look at objects orbiting around our solar system and figure out why their motions are the way they are because of the gravitational influences of everything else around. So we looked at a small group of objects newly discovered and realized we couldn't actually completely understand their motion. However, if we insert into the equation about that an object about the size of this planet nine, everything then worked out perfectly. So that's what gives the suspicion that it really does exist. They can't exactly see this thing from a telescope or, or anything like that. Instead, they are using data about uh, how other objects as far out as Pluto uh, are, are reacting and moving out of alignment, getting out of its way. So data like that 
actually suggests a heavy gravitational pull, which primarily comes from things that are, are qualified to be called planet. Uh, but they do have two giant telescopes on two different continents searching for the physical evidence of this thing's existence. Right now, the best that they can say is that something really, really, really big beyond Pluto exists because space rocks are moving out of the way. Um, as well as it's causing misaligned positions uh, among the outer planets. The orbit of other celestial bodies seem to re be responding to something. What that is, nobody can actually confirm just yet. It's, it's so far away that even though it's big, it's very, very dim and it would be very tough to spot with a telescope. I'm also fascinated at the idea that this planet could be so far out there and still our sun be the mass that is keeping it in the gravitational pull of our solar system. Right, right, yeah, but no, that's, it's true. That's incredible. And so there was a thought at one point from scientists that when they thought that there was something beyond Pluto, that it might have been all the mass of objects floating in the, in the Kyber belt, but it's not. Right, so, so the, all those objects are out there and they have a lot of mass, and originally the scientists said, look, a planet is such a crazy idea, <laughs> maybe it's the Kuiper Belt itself that's pulling it on, on itself and making these, these orbits look funny. And they ran simulations and they tried to make that work and it didn't work, it mm. just didn't work. There's not enough stuff out there. So you don't see it, but you said it's all about the numbers. So two scientists are playing around with numbers and they think what? They think, huh, this doesn't add up. Yeah. We need to ask some other folks to take a look at this for us and tell us if we're crazy. And sure enough, that's what they did. The Caltech astronomers looked at the number and said, you know that idea about there being another planet? That's not a crazy idea. It looks like it's really possible. So now what they'll do is they'll let this information out to the rest of the astronomical community to try to help figure out what's going on, to make sure that everything's correct. And now they'll also do the observations. And, and some have already stepped forward to say they're convinced. Well, it is. It, it, uh, yes, they are pretty well convinced now they need the visual evidence to back it up because, yeah, as I said, the numbers yeah. don't lie. But the critics of this study say that it's possible that this, uh, this large body is simply an ancient core, a core of a, a gas giant that was ejected out to the farthest reaches of the solar system thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. What does this tell us about our solar system? Well, one thing it tells us is that we don't really understand it as well as we thought we did. <laughs> And another is that it probably had a very violent beginning. This thing was probably formed much closer in and then flung out, maybe in a close encounter with Jupiter or something. You mentioned that scientists haven't seen it yet because of how far away it is and yeah. how dim it is. Is there a way for them to get visual evidence? Yes, so, so the biggest telescopes in the world can theoretically see this thing if they're looking in exactly the right place. And with the publication of this new paper today, uh, they are now going to start to look in earnest. But Batigan and Brown are not the first to claim that they've discovered a new major planet beyond Neptune. In fact, the hunt for Planet X has been on for over a century. But every problem... The story of a famous French astronaut delivering a terrible warning during a suicide attempt nearly a decade old. The bizarre 2008 incident saw Claudie Hayner, who flew to both the Mir and International Space Station, try to take her own life by overdosing on sleeping pills. According to media reports at the time, Hayner exclaimed to those who found her, Earth must be warned, and then fell into a coma. Fortunately, the former astronaut was able to be saved and ascribed the strange event to what she called burnout syndrome. However, the story went on to become a recent puzzle in UFO lore with researchers pondering over Hayner's outburst and what exactly it might mean. The fact that there was a mysterious fire at Hayner's lab shortly before her suicide attempt led to rumors that she was working on a clandestine project involving ET DNA, although such claims have never been substantiated. Despite the rampant speculation behind the event, it appears that Hayner has never stepped forward to clarify or debunk the conspiracy theories which arose from her breakdown. To conspiratorial minds looking for hidden hands pulling invisible strings. The sudden resurfacing of an eight-year-old story about dangerous ETs conjures the question of why it is suddenly being reported again now and if, perhaps, the powers that be are sounding an alarm to those who might hear it.